Hello, my survival brothers and sisters. Today, we're gonna go back into survival, the fountain of life. And we started at the end of the tutorial here. If you missed it before we did a first look, we went through the whole tutorial, looked at everything, and really checked out the game and did a little exploration. This time, we're gonna start over and we're gonna do this as true survival experts. So let's head over to our chest here. And last time I had grabbed the axe, but I don't think I want the axe this time. I'm really thinking about this coat. Like the coat looks awesome, but I think what I'm gonna do is go with the iron spear to have that bit of damage and that extra bit of range because I wasn't using the axe very often and I can just create one early game if I really want to. Nice little stone axe, right? A little harder to create a spear. I had a hard time trying to find a long stick the last time we played, but. Uh, yes. I'm just gonna skip this. We already looked at in the first look. I do suggest watching the cutscenes. They're lovely. They give a lot of good insight. And as this is kind of, you know, loosely based off of true events, it's really fascinating. Come on. All right. So, like every survival expert, the first thing I'm going to do is jump in the water because um, there are some crates in here that we can use. So, we also get, like, negative traits, obviously, for being in the water. Soaked is one of them. Is that fish? I never caught a fish last time. But what I'm really after are these crates here because I can get some, get an apple. Get an apple out of that one. I'm going to grab these. I'm not sure what I can do with them, but I'll maybe eat them. And I'm pretty sure I had found one more crate that had a piece of soggy bread in it once. I think it's that one. No, that's where I just was. It's that one. Into the surface, get some oxygen. Make sure you're no you don't run out of energy because you will die. Or not necessarily die immediately, but you will uh, gradually start losing health. And there's my loaf of bread. So I'm going to grab those. There might be more, but that's all I explored last time. And and honestly, that's going to be good enough to really get us going here for a bit. Find the pictured grotto. So it, I had it skip the tutorial as well. Wish I could pick that up. So it knows I'm not trying to do the tutorial. So which is great. I'll grab that conch cell. I wonder how well this spear throws. Oh, beautifully. That was a lovely spear throw. That's a hundred times better than Icarus. I'll grab this crab. I don't know what I can do with it yet, but... All right, and then back to this. So I'm going to grab some coconuts for the road. Harvest these. No tool. Oh, I need a, I need a cutter. I need to find a rock. There should be a rock over here somewhere. Let's see. Get some yellow leaves. There's a coconut. Coconut stick. Rock? Nope. This is going to be the one time I have a hard time finding a coconut. Or not a coconut. A rock. A rock. A rock. There's one. Nope. There's one. Got it. So I'm going to go to the crafting menu. I'm going to build myself a cutter. And look, I can make a stone axe too if I wanted to. Um, Actually... Can be, th can be used as a weapon or tool. Uh, I need the cutter. The second stone I find will become an axe. So with this now, I can grab like a few more like palm fronds and stuff like that. That'll be great. I do need these so I can craft uh, our smoke signal and a bed. I'm going to grab those. Take that with me. Thank you very much. And I also want to head a little bit this way. So our objective is here, right? So I need to go on the other side of this mountain, but there is an entrance over here that I want to find. That's where I want to put my smoke signal. I'm going to take these sticks. That's where I want to put my smoke signal so I know where the entrance is. And we're going to build our base in said cave. And the reason we're doing that is I want this to be like a more optimized run. Whereas like in the tutorial it kind of tells you to build things as you're going. And I'd rather build the things where I need them or where I want them. So for us, that's going to be in that cave. I'm going to build in there. Uh, it's the only place I noticed, at least, uh, relatively nearby that has... Um, I'm trying to sneak up on this bad boy. That gives you shelter from rain, and that's very important. 
Oh. Whew. Six damage taken from the animal. I didn't uh, do a good job fighting that off. I accidentally stood up. Didn't mean to. All right, so I came here because I want these long sticks. It's going to put me overweight. Oh, and I need an axe, though. So I need to go find a stick. I want to get a... Uh, at least one long stick because I'm going to need that in order to progress the little missions over there. Um, it asks me to build a spear, so. Even though I have one, I wanted one that did more damage. It was more durable. So I'm just going to go run over here. I'm going to go look for another rock. Then I'll go back over there with our hatchet. Excellent. I found the way into the cave here. That looks like the entrance there. So I'm just going to build my smoke signal here. Let's go into our build menu. This will lighten my load up a bit. My load's pretty thick right now, if you know what I mean. All right, smoke signal. So this is great because it kind of creates like a waypoint for you to find on your... I don't know if it shows up on the map, but it at least shows up on, in the sky. So when you're far away, you can find your way home pretty easily. Chance of injury, 21%. That sounds awful. All right, we'll see when we come out of this cave... Uh, oh, there it goes. See, it puts a nice big green smoke up, and you can see that from quite a distance. So let's head inside the cave. Now, I do have to be careful trucking through here because there can be, like, scorpions on the ground. And we all hate scorpions, right? Yep, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're all on agreement there. Don't want scorpions on me at all. So I'm just kind of running through here. I'm Like I said, I'm overweight because I'm a hoarder. That's also why it's dark out, because I'm a hoarder, so I spent time gathering when I probably shouldn't have. See? Scorpion. I'm not going to... Actually, I'll kill one. Because I haven't found a use for scorpions yet, so I'll just grab one carcass so I can get the blueprint. Which is... Let's see. Coming down here. Wooden harpoon is what I can make now with a long stick. That's pretty nice. Uh, wooden spear we can now make. Uh, we can make a large box, and I didn't see what we can do with a scorpion tail, so maybe we need a different craft station. But at least for the moment, uh, there's nothing I can do with it. So instead of wasting my tool durability on trying to break them, or destroy them, kill them, whatever, uh, I'm just going to try to ignore them the best I can. I think one got me. Yep, and that's creepy. Two damage. Let's get out of here. So I know there's like three scorpions in here. Yeah, there they all are. That's what it was like when we first played too. So I'm actually going to just swap tools. I'm going to use my crappy axe. Okay, all those are dead. So let's see. It wants us to take the letter and check the map on the wall. So I'm going to grab that. This is just telling us about living water, which uh, restores statuses from us when we faint. Uh, Captain. Juan Ponce de Leon also survived the shipwreck. Again, amazing cutscenes. Make sure you check them out. We already have in the first look, so if you want to see that aspect, make sure you go back and watch it. But otherwise, uh, it just tells us that he had given us a couple water sources here. This one's surrounded by, like, wolves. This one, I don't know. I've never found them. And then we need to, like, craft some sort of boat to go to this island, which will have a spyglass there for us. And I'm assuming that might be where the demo ends. So with that note, though, let me grab all that. We're going to come over here. I need to make a fire starter. Where is it? Ships. Fire starters. Craft that. All right. With that, we'll go add fuel. Uh, oh, no. Shoot. No. Damn it. I accidentally put a long stick in there. Damn. That stinks that that was the default. So I'm going to put some sticks in. I got six hours worth. I'm going to use a mushroom tinder. I found it on a tree. And... Ignite. Beautiful. So now I can cook this crab I found. That'll complete to craft that. We can also make... Oh, I can't make that because I haven't found... New goal resource map. Cool. So draw a map. I will need a writing material. Charcoal will be fine. We can make that here. Consumable tool for mapping. Get to high ground. Open the map and use this tool. So why don't I make like three of those? My inventory is full. 
So why don't I drop these tobacco leaves? Hopefully they don't burn. Let's build a storage chest. A small one will do for now because I used one of my long sticks. I need to make a spear for the quest. I'm going to put that there. Build this. And then in here, I'm just going to plop down that carcass because I don't know what to do with that yet. This food, same with you. I'll keep that, keep that. I'll put this away for now because I don't actually need it. I'll put the rope from the ship in there. I'll put the cutter in there because I also don't need it. Tinder and the rest can stay here for the moment. Let me grab my tobacco. Don't get wacky. Make three of these. Thank you. And... I need to go grab some banana leaves, and it's kind of daytime now. So what I also want to make real quick, just while I'm here, craft, make a primitive bed. Gonna put it, we'll put it like by the fire here, like this. Right here. Oh, I don't have enough. Uh, one, oh, I forgot there was a banana leaf over here. Two of them, to be exact. Place those, build that. Now we've got a shelter. So we can now sleep here and we regain energy per hour, which is something I need to do here soon. Actually, let's just sleep for a f Oh, my food's pretty low. Let me eat some food. Uh, let me eat the roasted crab and I'll eat caviar. And I'll eat the conch just to get out of my inventory. All right, let's sleep for like four hours just to gain some energy. You also gain some health back. Perfect. It's like nice and daytime. We obviously lost our fire. Um, actually, I do need to start that back up because I need to make that steamed leaf bandage. I grab that back. I grab the mushroom tinder. So let me just add that. I'm just going to do one quick fire starter. Because I'm fa oh, no suitable kindling? Oh, you know, I probably failed because you can fail. Um, use this Chitobo gum. So you can see um, chance of ignition 20%. Honestly, this is the first time I've ever failed at that. So that's actually really funny. There's another one. I'm going to add more fuel. Ignite. There we go. First time that's ever happened. So let's make my steamed leaf bandage. Oh, I need a narrow leaf. Shit. There's no more on the ground here. Hold on. We, I know I can get a narrow leaf just outside, so. Puffball mushroom. Those are just dried leaves or yellow leaves. I would assume it just means dry, but you never know, I guess. All right, give me all that. 20 minutes. Got to make sure you're paying attention to your craft times because I've got a fire going that's only going to last for so much time. So if I spend all my time gathering, I won't have any fire left. So like here I can see fire. I've got three hours left on it. So I'm going to make a steamed leaf bandage. And then I don't have anything to make more, but I could make, you know, tobacco paste for burns, poison, chamomile juice for indigestion problems, etc. Gonna come back here. All right, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna put that away because I don't plan to really go far. Um. Oh, let's make my spear. Uh, crafting. Wooden spear. Craft it. See, it takes an hour to do that. So now my goal is to reach the small island. Okay, perfect. So I don't really care about reaching the small island just yet, obviously. So. I'm gonna put that away because it's weak. I'm gonna put the long stick away because it's heavy. Same with the rocks. And that's it for now. Um, actually, you know what? This weighs nothing. Let's carry that on me. Let's put the sticks away. You also don't really weigh much. It's just taking up inventory space. This weighs a bit. Um, okay, this, I'll take that. Okay, I'll take the cutter with me because I'll probably break my hatchet anyways. And that's only 0.5, but I should just put that in there. I'll take the starfish with me. And I'm going to put this away. All right. The next goal will be able to make another one of those things. But for now, that'll do. What do these puffballs do? 
Got a blueprint. Interesting. All right. Well, we don't have much energy, and it's getting closer to night as well. So what I really just want to do is focus on a bit of crafting here. It's like I want to just grab some of these green leaves because we don't have a lot of those. I shouldn't say crafting. I should say harvesting. And this way, if I do get an injury, I have all the leaves and everything necessary at the house to make the bandages we need. And I might try and kill some crabs if we see them on the beach. Which I'm not. So I could just go that way. But I also want to grab some banana leaves. And I saw some on this side of the beach. Oh, there's some crabs. Looks like there's a, a little dog thing over here. Or the badgers. Gotcha. Didn't die that time. Or didn't get hit. That's just chamomile. Um, there they are. There's some banana leaves right here. This is what daddy was looking for. Gimme. I wish there was like just a button I could use to hit like harvest all. Like if I just press space when I start, like let me harvest all or maybe hold space? Hold? No. It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna break one of these. I don't know what happens if I break it. But cut it down. Okay. So it disappeared. I'm wondering if these will like refresh after some time. I'm not honestly sure. I'm going to head this way because I want to kill some crabs. I want to get their meat. I want to suck on their meat. Maybe that turtle we saw. Uh, I know someone in the comments was a little upset we killed the turtle last time. But I want to let you know that it was okay. Because... The turtle was a stunt double. It wasn't a real turtle, okay? Just a stunt double. It's all acting. This is all acting. So as soon as I, like, actually killed the turtle, there was an instant moment where the game paused, we swapped the turtle out for a fake turtle, and then everything was good again. Gotcha. Not the crabs, though. The crabs are dead. Crabs are real. No stunt doubles for the crab. <gasps> the turtle... <laughs> Bounced off the shell. I love that. All right, so I can take four tortoise. Sh oh, 21% chance of injury? Didn't look like I got injured. I can bring the tortoise with me. What does it do? I feel like that's pretty decent. I don't really want this. I don't know what it does for me, so I'm sorry. I'm going to leave you here. I don't have, like, a means of butchery yet. Maybe that's what that does. Like, if I take... Uh, a corpse back with me to home and I have like a butcher's table perhaps I can further break down a carcass thoughts but otherwise I'm gonna head back here because I know this one spot has sticks and if it hasn't respawned I'm just gonna chop this tree down hasn't I'm just cutting it down for my one stick I love how I can harvest two stick Oh, I'm exhausted. I should probably go home and go to bed. I like how I can harvest two sticks from it normally, but when I chop it down, I get one. Did I harvest this tree? I didn't. Give me that. Perfect. I'm very overweight yet again because I have no self-control. Yeah, th this is definitely one of those games where, like, you really need to manage your time and really everything else involved with that as well, which means... Like, when you go out, you got to leave the house with a purpose. Like, I had way too broad of a purpose today. What I should have done was, like, I want to leave and go get long sticks and leave out the back cave. Do a loop around to get banana leaves and then go back home. But instead, I was like, let's get banana leaves, palm fronds. Also head out. Let's grab sticks. Kill a turtle. Get some crab meat. Like, I was all over the place. So my inventory is full. Overweight. It's taking me longer to get home, and my dude is exhausted. So I need to get in the cave, sleep for probably eight hours so I can gain a fair bit of stamina back. And then I think what I want to do is I'll check my macros, make sure everything's good. We'll cook our food in the morning. And then I want to go and work on the map. So we need to go and check out a cartographer tree, which we can then climb and map out a bit, which I think will be very cool. I'm sure it's even harder for you all to see, but look, that's a scorpion right there. That's how dark this is, but in the demo version, 
uh, we can't make torches. So, you know, there's that. So developers, if you want to shoot little shabby a copy, we're here for you. <laughs> All right, I'm back in. I think I see a scorpion right there. Yes, I do. Man, I wonder if I turn the shadows down like we do in Icarus, we can kind of cheese the caves a bit better. But it's all right. They're all dead still. Fantastic. I'm just... Man, it's already kind of like daytime. I'm going to come in here. We're going to sleep. For eight out For ten hours. Until like the midday. Yeah, that'll work. And it's raining out, but we're inside and covered, which is fantastic. It's pretty loud, too. That is quite loud, actually. Sound. Look at how much I have these down. Let's turn that down and bring environment to here. Okay, confirm. That's better. All right. What I want to do, first of all, is I want to build a... Oh, look. Roasted meat, dried mushrooms. Cool. Oh, we can make... What is this? A portable box? Excuse you? <gasps> it adds three. Oh, you know what? That probably replaces my backpack, which adds 11 slots. Um, this. Unless... No, it's not a belt tool. Maybe it's a bandolier? No, it's definitely not. Maybe we'll make it eventually just to test it out so the people can know. Um, there it is. Large box. Ooh, a bed of leaves? Oh, six energy per hour? For, oh, we need to make a bed of leaves. Now, before I build a large storage. Go on, and cancel. Demolish. Okay. Give me those back. Now let's build my bed of leaves. Building bed of leaves. Hut made of leaves, unavailable in the demo, protected box, and a canopy. Okay. So let's make my bed of leaves. Right here. Yep, build that. That'll take me two and a half hours. Like, that kind of makes sense. Like, that's a realistic kind of time frame. I am okay with that. Do I have Tinder? I have no Tinder. Can I make Tinder? Like, is that a thing I have? I don't think so. Primitive ship repair, a stone saw blade? Low efficiency. What is this? Feather and ink, a fishing rod, rope, hammer, pickaxe, stone, coconut mortar. Need this thing, a short handle? You have a short handle. Uh, improved stone axe. Okay, a bow. I just need some rope. Leaf bandolier. Probably holds arrows. Um, I don't know. Well, first of all, I want to build one of these because I need another box. Oh, I only have... I'm missing some sticks. That's okay. Did I put the sticks in here? I did. Give me those. There's another hour of our day. Now it's cloudy, though. Okay, again, I don't want this. Just put that on the ground. I want to cook that. Ooh, I've got a bunch of banana leaves, actually. So, I do want to make some, some health bandages. But what I want to do as well is I need to make protective clothing. I feel like that's what I need to do first. Oh, actually, we also have survival points. And crafting points? Oh, levels. So... Additional chance for success. Oh, that's cool. So throwing, increased aiming speed. What is this? Strength, increased max carry weight. Amazing. Skill of melee combat and improves when carrying heavy load and when dealing damage. I'm going to carry a heavy load every time now. Gathering speed. Okay, so let's see. Let's take a look at these. So concentration um, available with V. Special objects, weapons, ammo, and drop bags are highlighted. That sounds nice, but I don't think it's completely necessary, especially once you get used to the game. Maybe your first playthrough it might be okay. Resist disease, that's pretty decent. Uh, reduce the chance of getting indigestion from bad food by 30%. Now, if that's like just additive, so like if you had a 5% chance, you have a 0% chance, that's fantastic. Uh, either way, it's still really good, but not top-notch. Thirst, eating water-containing foods give plus 5 water. 
Ooh, that's that's top quality. Same with the food. Increase energy rate. All right, these are the top three. We're gonna go with water first, and then I'm gonna go hunger, better sleep. Yeah, hunger and better sleep afterwards. All right, that's fantastic. I'm very happy with that. All right, these are coconuts. I don't care. I was really hoping for another one of those gum things because I need to start a fire, but I'm kind of missing the most important thing about starting fires, which is the kindling. Oh, wait, I wanted to make armor. Uh, crafting equipment. So I'm going to make a hat, sun protection. I already have a cape. We're going to make a skirt. Shoes, very important. Out in the desert. Excellent. So the rest of these I'm just going to put away. So I'm going to keep the bandage on me. Put that away. This will be my leafy goods bin. Um, I guess I'll put these in here just for now because they're taking up space anyways. Actually, let me get rid of this. I'll just put that there. Come over here. Put my other stick in there. Bam, bam, bam. All right, that's fine. What is this way? Not a lot. Excellent. All right, today's goal is we need water. Let me take this coconut. I want to get like so much done, but I'm really underestimating the elements in this game. I definitely am. Like, I'm like, oh, I want to go objective diving. I want to build caves or not build caves. I want to build maps to this world. I want to do this. I want to do that. But like, really, I need to just spend a little bit of time doing, like, basic shit, like harvesting coconuts, getting food supplies. I need tinder. <clears throat> and not the sexy kind. Alright, there's, like, little glowy things over there. I don't know what that's about, but what's that? Nothing? Looks like a stick. I'm gonna head back. Ooh, a massive rock, actually. That's massive, because we can make an improved axe with this. I'm gonna grab that. It's pretty heavy. Um, if we go to crafting and I go to, like, resources here, I can make a stone axe blade with a rock and a massive stone. So if I find a rock just laying around, we'll do that recipe first. But otherwise, I might just go put it in the bin. And what I'm going to do out here is this is going to be a food trip, okay? So we're going to go out. I need kindling. So I'm going to head to the trees by our first spawn. And I'm going to grab the mushroom tinder off the trees. Because I'm not sure what other kindling I can use right now. That's easily found. Because I don't, I don't think I saw a recipe for kindling. Like, I've got a primitive ship repair, but I don't have, like, you know, kindle. Har harpoons. Campfire. Campfire with stones. Hearth. Food dehydrator. Oh, a cart. The anarope and a split log. That sounds amazing. Rain collector, rain collector, a log cart, carpentry, ships. Ooh, a coconut flask. We're going to make that. Let's go grab... Okay. Ooh, portable beacon? To mark a spot. Emits red smoke for a very long time. Interesting. Okay, yes. Yeah, secondary goal here. I want to head... I'm going to head over there to grab the mushrooms for tinder. Right? We're going to grab a little bit of sticks because we need um, fire. We need fuel. And I want to grab liana rope so I can make a coconut flask. So that way we can work towards a water source. And then maybe we'll make like two of them and we'll take a walk and explore what's over by... Uh, or assumed to be where the clean water is that we saw on the map. This is the area where I was finding those mushrooms. They're on trees like that. But also, this is that cartographer's tree I was talking about. If we come here, I can place a ladder, but I need a rope. But I should be able to find some ropes around. Ooh! Ooh! I almost did not see you, buddy. Pink! Thanks for playing. I will take this because I want to see what I can get. Blueprint unlocked. Thank you. Tree bark? That's got to be kindling, right? Let me take that. Ah! What the hell just happened? Why are my hands so bloody? 
What's happening to me? Am I okay? Near death, dark, just dark. Chance of injury plus 20%. That makes sense. Did I get my... Ah! There's a, there's a freaking scorpion around here somewhere. I can't see him. Too freaking dark. Don't play in the dark, kids. Grab those real quick. Kindling. That's kindling. Okay, that's huge. Huge. This is also kindling. This is the mushroom I was talking about right here. I feel like I should just go home and sleep, though. I'm absolutely terrified to be out here because I can't see anything. Dog. Woo! Ooh, I got a bone out of that? Where'd it go? Give me that bone. I don't know what it does. Ah, oh, scorpion attack again. We gotta get out of here. Minor poisoning appeared. We gotta go. We just gotta go. We can't... We can't play with this fire. Ooh! I saw it at the last second. It got me. See it? Sneaky. Sneaky snack. Alright. Okay. Uh, other new goal? Stop exploring at night like a freaking idiot and go to bed. Alright, that's good. I'm gonna fill up on banana leaves because I feel like these are quite important. That'll top me off without being overweight. Alright, back to the cave. We go. So, I hope you're loving this so far. You guys had a great reaction to the first look. So, I really wanted to go into, like, actually just doing survival. Because when we do first looks, I'm more curious about mechanics. I'm moving fast. We're playing dumb. Not like a real survivalist. We're just kind of, like, I'm trying to see as much as possible in as little time. So, this is why we're jumping back in. Because you were all very excited for this and wanted to see more. So, I'm thankful for that. And thankful for letting me know with the likes and the comments. That's very helpful. So if you're loving this series, make sure you do keep hitting that like button and subscribe if you are new here so you get back here for that sweet shabby content. But yeah, brothers and sisters, we're going to wrap this up here. I'm just going to head in. I'm going to sleep for the night, organize my goodies, and just get ready for our next adventure out, which is, like I said, we need to grab... Uh, we need rope, and we just need a little bit more, but I've got the kindling, so we'll eat some food. We'll drink some um, coconut water. Ooh! Got me. Two damage taken, and I also need to not be poisoned, so. But all right, brothers and sisters, as usual, this has been Shabby. Doing up the rest of your day is not too shabby.